like, like tell me about where your art business was when you, uh, before you decided to take how to sell your art online. Well, uh, so my art was, um, I, 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 I sort of got a lot of early initial success. Mm -hmm. Uh, my, my art is, at least the thing that's gotten me a lot of press is um, a whole series, every single American vice president with an octopus on his head. And that was when I first started posting that stuff online in 2014. It was clicky enough that I, it, it just started getting press without me doing much of anything, really. Mm -hmm. um, so then, so I had this moment where my sales on my Etsy site were selling you know, prints of the, of the work. Uh, we're doing really well, and then they started kind of tapering off a little bit, and um, you know, it's sort of like um, you have this whole vague notion of things you need to do in order to get the business kind of the the, the car to run again, but mm -hmm. you really don't know what it is, and it all becomes this big miasma of of anxiety and vague feelings of inadequacy. So that was <laughs> what my uh, experience was before I, I uh, signed up for your site, for mm -hmm. your uh, class. Well, so what was your biggest takeaway from the course? What was the thing that you would say that you learned? I would say that it, it was, your class was very good at sort of unpacking the things that you need to do in order to, to get this thing to run. Um, and, um, and to be obviously a bit more confident about getting yourself out there, which is something that I think me and a lot of other artists find very taxing and, and exhausting. Almost everything that I was in your course, I've already heard before from some other source. Mm -hmm. But I mean, at least some like you need to set up a website, you need to do this, you need to do that. But putting it into a consistent structure, it's like now we're doing this this week and just getting me to do the work. Um, that was what I think was the most useful thing. It was just giving me a framework of, of you know, you don't get this done, teacher's going to be disappointed, or whatever sort of things <laughs> in the back of my mind. So if somebody were thinking about uh, taking the How to Sell Your Art online course and they were asking you about it, what would you say to them? Uh, depending on where they were in their career, um, I'd say it would be very helpful. Um, if, you know, it's sort of one of those things, if you're, you, know, you could probably get something out of any on any level, but I think it works best for people that were uh, well. The first third, as you said, the first thing I think works best for people who have um, they're just getting started, or they like drawing, but they don't really know why they're they feel drawn to doing this, but they don't really know why. Helping them, you know, articulate that. The second third, I think, is for people who were like me, which is like I know what we're doing artistically, but is the whole business side we have no idea about. And then the third part is even more of that. So you could probably, any artist could probably get something out of this. I know a lot of artists who are very smart and came up, some of them made a lot of money, but they don't know how to market themselves still. So. Yeah. Have you seen the interview that I did with Willa Kerner? I guess I haven't, no. Uh, so she's the head of curation at Kickstarter. And oh. her, her team is the one that picks whether or not they email, uh, which, which Kickstarter projects to email about. Uh, well, yeah. so what I, I guess the smart thing I did is two or three years ago, I went to the LA book fair and which was interesting, but there was a Kickstarter stand there and I mm -hmm. got a card from some woman who ended up going up. Um, and I emailed her, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a month or so before the, you know, as I was putting it together, she gave me some great advice. I think they're willing to do that to pretty much anybody. Um, but that put my project on a radar. Yes. And so pretty much the day I launched it, it got, it got a, a project we love. Perfect. That is so brilliant because uh, Willa says in the interview that um, most of her job is just talking to people who are thinking about using Kickstarter and being aware of what projects are actively being promoted and which ones are coming down the pipeline so that mm -hmm. her team can figure out which ones they want to promote and, and help those projects do well. Right. Um, so the curation team definitely plays a big role in promoting interesting, unique projects. Yeah. No, they're very, very, very helpful. Cool. And you can see, like, the ones that they really, really, really like, um, they they keep pushing, and those are the ones that make a million dollars. But those yeah. tend to be more techie stuff than art stuff. But. Yeah.